Hey sweet loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Leandra and happy October. Right Iris? It's spooky season. It's giving spooky. We had a little photo shoot today, Iris and I. She's all in her black outfit. You know us New York girls, we like to be all blacked out. As soon as the fall hits, look at her. Peep the fit. <laughs> We're gonna go get some fresh air and exercise. Yeah, right? We're gonna do it. So this past weekend, we were all sick. Me, you were sick too. Iris was very sick and this was her first cold. So it was really scary. Yeah, I know it was scary, wasn't it? And um, she had like a high fever. She was coughing, sneezing. It was really bad. But now she's feeling a lot better. So that's great. Norman and I also got sick like at the same exact time. So it was just like really intense. It was. No rest for the weary, baby. No rest for the weary. We're all doing a lot better. Yeah. And we're going to go out for a walk and get some fresh air. What you think? Hmm? What you think about that? Hmm? Today she's also 13 weeks. 13 weeks, people. I can't believe it either. I really can't. It's just her screaming at me. It's her yelling at me for me. She's the best. Oh, my camera's dying. Oh, let's go on our walk. You ready? <laughs> you ready? Today we are at a mall. We're at a dead mall. <laughs> like apparently this mall has terrible reviews, but we are here for a reason. See, I lost my nose ring in bed like two or three days ago. And I don't even know if you guys noticed that I have a nose ring. A lot of people have told me that they didn't even know I had a nose ring, which is really weird because I've had it since I was like 15. And I feel like I look so different without it. So anyway, I lost it in bed the other day. So now we're at this mall. I need to find Claire's. <laughs> like what year is it? It's giving 2000s, early 2000s. It's giving 90s. I used to love Claire's so much when I was little. Like I would get so hyped to go with my dad. He would take me shopping and we would do like shopping sprees there. Can you tell that it brings back really fond memories for me? Aww. And I used to collect the Care Claire Bears. Do you guys remember those? They were like little, um, whatchamacallit, like uh, they were like little jewelry boxes, but they had different bears on top of them for like the seasons or different months. Oh my God, I wonder if my parents still have all my Claire bears. I wonder if they're worth anything. <laughs> anyway, so that's what's going on right now. Iris is at home with her poppy. Um, she's still going through that growth spurt. Listen, that growth spurt. The growth spurt is hard on her and it's very hard on us. We are so tired. Like she is just like, she's going through it. She's going through it. I think she might be teething a bit too because she's grabbing everything and putting it in her mouth. Like she's trying to chew on anything and everything she can. But it's cute. It's really, really cute. I'm, I feel bad for her that she's like going through this growth spurt and she's feeling really uncomfortable so. I'm giving her a lot of snuggle. She's like stuck to me all day long and I'm not complaining. Like I'm loving every minute of it. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of like, it's bittersweet. Like I feel really bad for her, but at the same time I'm happy that she's growing and I'm excited to see her keep growing. She's such a freaking princess. I love her so much. But anyway, let's go into this mall. Oh, by the way, what do you guys think of my hair? Is it giving mom? Is it giving mommy? I really like it. It's a very, it's dense. 
it's pretty dense I tried to thin it out but um yeah I really really like it this is the butter lace wig from sensational butter lace or like what lace or something like that these wigs are super popular on TikTok right now and YouTube and stuff like that I wanted to do an installation video but I was like I don't know what I'm doing so let's just see how it goes um yeah I feel like I finessed it pretty well it looks good to me I'm no professional but I'm hoping to get better at my wig game and stuff so yeah I like it I like it a lot <laughs> Ooh, there's a nail salon. Always looking for a good nail salon. Oh, and they had an eyebrow place. Oh, they still have it. It's downstairs. I might get my eyebrows done because they're looking a bit crusty. Oh, they have a lot of stuff in here, actually. Where is the Claire's? I was like, oh my god, where is the Claire's? Where is the Claire's? Found her. Yes. Here, buy one, get one for five. Lots of options. I have a tiny nose ring hole, so that limits my options. I think I need the 22 gauge. I mean, I could do the 20, 20 gauge, but I will definitely hurt myself. Let's see, I like these up here, but those are 18. Now that's way too big. That sounds like pain. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> we're back in the car. So that one actually wasn't too bad. Um, it was a little bit creepy because it was kind of empty. But they did have a few stories there and there were people in there, which was fine. Um, I don't know why the reviews online were so bad for this mall. Like, it really wasn't that serious. I got the goods. I got the goods, baby. Okay, let's do a little nose ring haul. So I got these. Can you even see them? Are they coming into focus? No, they're not. Do it. You have to go like this. Oh, that actually works. Oh my God. So I got these. They were um, buy one, get one for $5, which is really, really good. I mean, somehow I still ended up spending $50. Mm. I don't know how that happened, but anyway. These will last me a while, so I'm not too mad at it. This one is giving very summertime, but I think that's fine. And then this one is just a classy single. Maybe I'll put that one on first. I wanted to get a bunch of hoops, but Iris, oh, this one has a ball on the end of it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use this one. Oh, shoot. Oh. Uh. Oh, it went in. Oh. Excuse me? Who is she? Wait a second. I thought I couldn't put in nose rings that had balls on the the end of them. That's crazy. Well, the more you know, oh my gosh. <laughs> I picked this up, these sparkly makeup gems. They look really cool. I've never tried the ones like this, like where it's like the eyeshadow. So I thought that could be cool for Halloween or something. Oh, they're actually like maroon. I thought they were brown. That could be interesting for Halloween. I still don't know what I'm gonna be. The Halloween store kind of creeped me out. I don't know. It's something about Halloween stores that's just kind of, it just, it don't sit, it don't sit right with me. They just, uh, it's kind of creepy because I feel like they can just pack up and leave anytime they want to. And I, I don't like that. Let's get out of here. So now we are heading off to Target because I need to go get oh my break I need to go get some dog food for Nietzsche and 
some diapers for Iris. She moved up a size. <gasps> my baby, my baby is growing. I can't believe it. She's getting big. Oh, I should not have gone this way. Damn it. You know what? We're just gonna flip a little okie doke here. Do 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 do. Yes. And we're gonna go this way. Just like it never happened. Yeah. So, yeah, do you guys have any Halloween costume ideas? I feel like I'm kind of like a Debbie Downer about Halloween. I'm like, oh, I don't wanna spend the money on something I'm not gonna wear again. Like it's such a waste of money, blah, blah, blah. But I'm a mom now, I wanna be fun. I don't wanna be like that, you know? I want Iris to feel creative and like be excited to dress up, you know? So I'm trying to get into the spirit of things. I wanna do, like I went to the Halloween store but I wanna maybe DIY something because I feel like all the infant costumes that they had were for six months and older. And that's definitely not gonna work for her. I mean, one, she's only three months old. So, <laughs> she's like 13, 14 weeks old. She's very young. And also, she's petite. So, yeah. She still fits in like zero to three clothes. But it's funny, cause she's really long. Like her body is very long. Hmm. We'll see. I feel like I'm gonna have to DIY something. But what? But what should I do? I saw this TikTok where there was a girl saying that, oh, for Halloween, like you guys shouldn't be basic. You should do a concept costume. That's much better than anything else. Like a concept costume, like what? A concept? As opposed to something literal like a Starbucks cup. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that was the first random thing I could think of. Mm. This is mad good. Sour sop juice from the Mexican stand. Mm. Bomb. Very refreshing. I have a new song coming out. I have a new song coming out. This is the first time I'm releasing this year? Is it my first release of 2022? It just might be, honestly. Oh my gosh. That makes me even more excited. I wrote it and recorded it with Norman and our really good friend AJ. Um, this song is just like, uh, it's very cathartic for me. And like, without going into what it's about, I just, I wanna let you guys know that it's a very deep and personal song and the lyrics are really important. So, um, if, you're, if you're a fan of my music and you've heard my other songs, I feel like you're gonna be able to hear the difference in this one and um, feel the raw emotion behind it. Also, it was the last song that I wrote, er, yeah, I guess, the last song that I wrote and recorded in our apartment. And you guys know in my old apartment, I had like the most beautiful home studio setup. I mean, it wasn't really like, it wasn't the most expensive setup. Um, it was very DIY. We had a few really nice pieces of gear. It wasn't like crazy bells and whistles, but it was our spot and it was a really fun and creative place to be. You know, I spent so much time in there. That song is really, really special to me. And when I recorded it, I was extremely pregnant. I had a big, big belly. We were about to move. It was like a week before we were gonna move. And I was like, oh, I need to get this song out. I need to record it. So yeah. I'm so excited about the release of this new one. It's called Let Me Be. And that's all I'm gonna say about it. It's coming out very soon. 